welcome back. The last tool I want to show you is MobSF, which stands for Mobile Security Framework. And yeah, it's a tool which is open source and developed by uh, opensecurity.in, so company from India. And what they say, it's an automated all-in-one mobile application pen testing malware analysis and security assessment framework capable of static and dynamic analysis. So yeah, that's really a lot, but it does has some limitations. We will come into that later, but most important is the tool is available in GitHub. You can install it, uh, it's a Python based tool. So you can install it via Python, but the easiest way to install it is use Docker. So if you have Docker, you can just pull the latest image and then run MobSF. And it's a web application, so you can specify it to run on port 8000. So you will have it available in a web browser. And I will show you in a few seconds how it looks like. So there is a documentation page with an easy setup, which is the Docker, uh, Docker setup. And there are some requirements. So Python, if you don't use Docker. And for the dynamic analysis part, you can use Genemotion, which is a different solution for virtual devices in the cloud, or Android Studio Emulator. And also for Corellium, it also uses the Android Studio Emulator. So that's the same. But there are some limitations for this tool because it supports up to Android version 9 and the latest version currently is 13 or maybe 14 Eve, even already. So the dynamic part only works if you have an older Android device. So that's a limitation. So we will also focus on the static part because that's most important we think. And also Corellium has a nice documentation page about how to configure MobSF. So specific how you can connect to your Corellium device. That's by altering the configuration with an IP address and a port. That's the main thing to connect to Corellium. And I will uh, show you this. So I already started a Corellium device and now I will just give you a demo of MobSF in my virtual machine. And yeah, how I did this, I first I connected to the Corellium VPN, of course. Then I connected to a Corellium device. And for MobSF, I just started it by entering one Docker run command. So yeah, what I did to run it is only this specific version. Docker run name MobSF port 8000, 8000, and then the name of the image and a specific version. And then you should see that the Docker image is running successfully. And there is one thing you need to do if you want to use the dynamic part as well. You need to change the config.py file. And in the Corellium setup, there are instructions about how you can do this. And yeah, the instruction is that you can use SED. So let me just pass this instruction. So we will add analyzer identifier to an IP address and a port, which is the same you connected to via ADB connect, and then add it, edit it in this config file. And after you did this, sorry, I'm inside the container, then you need to restart your container with Docker restart and then the container ID. So this is what I already did as preparation. And then if I go to localhost 8000, you have first the static part. So you can just upload an APK file or for the dynamic analyzer, it also shows that I'm connected to a device, Android instance 10.11.11.5001, and also that there is a Twitter app in the device installed. But for now, this is what I will show about the dynamic part, because uh, my device is uh, later than API 28. So if I 
click start dynamic analysis, it will give some error. So I would like to focus on the static part. But what I already did, I just uploaded this APK file for Twitter. Yeah, this tool has a lot of nice functionality for the static part. So you can also upload different versions of the same app and then you can also compare the results. But let's look into this example report. So it might be easier to pick a uh, fernable application. Also the Corellium documentation uh, points to an example fernable application from OASP. I think that's a lot easier to start than if you look into a real application like Twitter because Twitter is a very large application with a lot of files, also a lot of findings. So this gives you a nice overview first of the application. So the application has almost 350 activities. So that's really a lot. And of those 349 activities, 22 have the flag exported is true. So that's one of the vulnerabilities we will cover into the next labs. And also 21 services of which four are exported, receivers the same, 19 re re receivers of which seven are exported. So that's already interesting information we might be able to use. And it, yeah, it really has a lot of options, so I don't want to go through all the options now, but the permissions are also interesting. It also decompiles the source code, view the source. So you can download it, but you, there's also some kind of viewer. So yeah, usually if you want to go to the native code, in this case, com.twitter, maybe .api, upload, request, just do something random. And this one is not that interesting, but, but it also decompiles the DEX files and then uh, yeah, it, it shows you the results. You can also search in the source code. So that's one of the nice uh, functionalities of this tool. You can also go to the Android manifest file. And then we could also search for exported is true, for example. So in this case, the com.twitter.app.dm DM activity as exported is true. Which means we might be able via ADB to just start this activity without going to the main activity. So that's one of the, the issues of possible issues in this, uh, this app, for example. So yeah, for now, I think this is most important that you can just upload your packets and then go to the static analysis, which is very interesting already. And if you want to look into the dynamic analyzer, then I would like to refer you to the official documentation and you need a little bit of an older virtual device. But yeah, for this training, we will not going to use this. So for now, I think this is uh, about it, what you need to know for the MOPSF framework.